A plan to control volatility in the stock market begins on Monday for some of the largest securities traded on the Hong Kong exchanges and clearing limited. The system restricts a stock from moving more than 10 percent during a five-minute period once a session. The new tool helps to stop what market regulators say are so-called fat fingers from causing extreme price wanes. According to Roger Lee, Hong Kong EX head of markets, the cooling off period provides a short time window allowing market participants to reassess their strategies and positions and helps reestablish an orderly market at times when there is abrupt and drastic price movement for the security concerned. The mechanism is not intended to control stock prices due to fundamentals. Officials say it should not be confused with the daily price limits that some markets use to keep the stocks trading within a specific price range. For normal investors who invest in the market, it will help them sort of avoid extreme volatility events. Uh, I think for some of the traders who like to play um, tail risk events, uh, for those black swan traders, uh, that would not be a good news. The cooling off period does not apply to the first 15 minutes of the morning and afternoon trading sessions or the last 15 minutes of the trading day. The new procedure was chosen after extensive consultation with market participants. The new volatility control is similar to the models used by Singapore Exchange and Tokyo Stock Exchange. But why does Hong Kong need this? Last summer, uh, when the Chinese Asian market bubble burst, uh, we've seen a period of uh, extreme volatility surge. In January this year, um, the surge in volatility uh, in, this, in this part of the world and also during the Brexit period, um, the volatility surge uh, is unseen before. And that is why um, I think many exchanges are introducing volatility uh, managed mechanism um, to stabilize the market during market crisis. The controls may help minimize sudden price wanes, but it will not stop trading the stock or derivative for the day. For example, BYD Company, a Chinese electric car manufacturer, fell as much as 12% in January in Hong Kong trading and closed 10% lower from the previous day after it was downgraded by Morgan Stanley. Analysts believe as long as the control measure doesn't become intrusive, then it's not a bad thing because it does give the markets a breather to readjust. Zhu Dan, CCTV, Hong Kong.